bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, trying out a new mic setup. Um, getting over COVID right now, so that last attempt, uh, I don't know if my tolerance dropped to completely zero, but that's, that attempt, it, it tore me up. That was borderline panic mode for a, a scotch bonnet, which I would have never expected. But anyway, MOA, hopefully it focuses. Try and get closer. Scotch bonnet MOA yellow. Um, let me make sure my phone is recording my voice so I'm not wasting my time. All right, we're good. Steak knife and a plate. Um, I'm assuming the last attempt, I don't know if, like I said, if it's, my to I don't know if my tolerance went to zero because of COVID or I've just been slacking on eating spicy food, um, but I'm not gonna eat the whole pepper at once. I'm gonna just try it half and then we'll go from there. It's enough to get the flavor anyway. I don't know, man. These are just full of oils. Like, <sighs> you could just smell that. Oh boy, it smells fruity. It smells like, like I don't know if you can see that. I'm using my Windows reflection to kind of gauge, but that's basically full of oil. It's got a citrusy, almost uh, fruity, but like a citrusy, similar to habanero. I get that chinin smell. Um, I'm full of sweat. I've been working in the yard I'm trying to make room for all these ding plants. I got way too many. Um, I'll probably post some pictures on Instagram if y'all are into following all that. I kind of did a, a setup similar. I'd show you, but I don't want to screw up my camera. Plus, my yard looks like garbage right now. But I did a similar setup to uh, Tesla in the Pepper Lovers community Discord. Um, she's pretty active there. Basically, just got some cinder blocks and big long pieces of uh like 10 foot wood and i just used that as like a shelf so i got like two shelves worth of plants and it's gave me a lot more room but anyway enough stalling i'm gonna go ahead and just eat half and we'll go from there juicy And obviously bitter from the seeds. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yesterday must have been a fluke, because that's newer. That's not what I was experiencing yesterday. Yesterday was like hell in my mouth. So I think <clears throat> I think I could probably pull off the second one. There's just so many seeds, man. I don't know if I want to eat it just because of all the seeds. The burn right now is tongue, sides of the tongue, back of the throat, really back of the throat. Similar to a habanero burn for sure. But man, that's, man, outside of the bitterness, that's delicious. Like, if you had your tolerance high enough, you could snack on that. All right, second attempt, because out of spite from that first clip, How bitter, man. Uh, now I know why people take seeds out. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. So, my theory is, I don't know if it's COVID or if it's the fact that due to COVID I've had a low appetite. <coughs> Back of the throat. Kind of hard to talk. I had a low appetite. I didn't have a serious case of COVID. I didn't break a fever or anything. I just had migraines, aches, and then like hardly any appetite. So low appetite means you don't eat any spicy food hardly. I tried to keep up with it with tincture, but clearly it wasn't enough. So yesterday, 
the clip I just showed, I ate that habanero, and it was like, I bit into the sun, and I suffered, like, I thought I was going into panic, panic mode, but this is, this is nothing now. Like, it's a back of the throat burn, whatever, but it's not even hurting my stomach, and usually, if it's real hot, then I have a problem in my stomach. <sighs> That's, it's actually really delicious, outside of the bitterness, but the bitterness is, like, like I said, you can get rid of that. Well, you gotta do stick out the seeds. So, this is a much better, much better attempt. Again, I'm not gonna sit there and just give up, you know? <laughs> it was almost when I like failed that attempt. I was like, was it because I ate, it the whole, ate the whole thing? It was a big one, but I don't know. It also could have been because of my tolerance. I'll never know. Whew. Yeah, it's just back of the throat, back of the tongue. Tip of the tongue's fine yesterday burn it was back in the throat as well and it was also my lips my lips were done hours after the the burn was done my lips still hurt and they were actually red so <clears throat> man but that has a real fruity flavor i would actually say due to the lack of floral i'd, I'd prefer that over a habanero um dang you see my reflection my hair is all whacked out well, it's not like I can go get a haircut. <laughs> Got freaking COVID. Well, supposedly. Um, but I, I can't wait till that ends because I hate being on this whole quarantine ordeal. It's kind of lame. <sighs> but at least I had a very mild case. I'm thankful for that. So, yeah. So, anyway, just to kind of recap. Uh, fruity, no floral, citrusy, bitter from the seeds, just like every, every freaking pepper I eat, it seems. Could have took those out, but I don't. I didn't want to screw with it. And I just, I'm falling in love with yellow pods. I mean, red's cool and all; they're hot. But when it comes to flavor, yellow for days. But man, it's attacking the back of my throat like something serious. Jeez. But anyway, um, I mean, I'll just sit here and talk because I don't want to, you know, act like I can't take the heat. But or outside of the throat burn, making it a little difficult to talk and the salivating that usually happens to me, I start drooling. I mean, I'm fine. To is nowhere near like yesterday. I mean, I was like, I gagged it out. I had to spit it out. It was, it was bad. Um, but hey, maybe that got my tolerance back to where it needed to be in uh, the most extreme case of exposure therapy that ever happened. I don't know. But, all right, well, I've done enough rambling. I appreciate you watching. Um, I already know what pepper I'm going to do next, but you're going to have to subscribe if you want to see what it is. So, yeah, I know. I drive a hard bargain. All right, thanks for watching.